Buster and Chez, congratulations on the career that you both had and good luck in your retirement. Uh, thank you from my point of view from a head coach and the way you've handled yourselves this year. You've been extremely professional and I thank you for that. I'm sure that you've both got long careers ahead of you in, uh, in rugby league in one form or another and you'll prove to be a success in whatever you do. So enjoy your retirement, boys, and cherish the memories that you've had. Cheers, boys. Chez, a big thanks on behalf of the board and myself for your time at Cougars. I've found you to be 100% committed in all that you've done, both on and off the field, uh, with your involvement in the players' uh, panel and uh, being the spokesman for them. Can't have been easy coming up and asking for some of the requests that, that they ask you to do. Uh, but all I want to say is good luck in the future. Thanks a lot for your time at Cougar Park. And... Uh, all the best. Oh, just one final question. How the hell do you get sent off as a water boy? You can probably live off that story for the next couple of years. See you, cheers. Buster, what can I say that won't have already been said other than you've been a true professional both on and off the field? And I'm for one are glad that you still want to be involved in, in the game, moving on now to coaching. I know you'll be very good as you have the respect of all the people who, who meet you. Your attitude is great, typified by when we were interviewing last year for the coach's position. You rang Gary and said, could you have an interview? Gary explained that you probably weren't qualified enough at this moment. And you said, yeah, I realise that, but I just want to have a, an interview so that I can prepare myself for the future. Uh, Gary said, yes, yeah, come to the interview. Next minute, you're ringing him back up saying, uh, make it as real as possible so that uh, I've got a good insight for when, when I need to do this. So that just typifies you, Buster. You've been great for the club and uh, I just want to wish you all the best for the future and that's for myself and all the board at Keithley Cougars. Good luck Buster. Uh, just on behalf of Keithley Cougars 2017, I'd uh, just like to wish uh, James Buster Fever and uh, Ches the Slow Train Cherry Home <laughs> all, the, uh, all the best for the future. Uh, I know you're both retiring, you've both been great servants for Keithley and for Ruby League. So just on behalf of the players, I'd just like to wish you the best luck boys. Good luck, lads. Well, 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 loyalty, and commitment are two things, the three things that make up a rugby league team. And you three, lads, you two lads, have to put it in the kitchen's face. Well done, lads. His granddad and my dad, thank you for staying for years and years of commitment. We really appreciate it. Well, it's a huge show, isn't it? It's like all local lads are making good. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the support. You're going to be so missed um, both off the field and on the field, but especially on the field. I can't believe that you're going. But that's got to come, times change, and uh, we, can't, we can't help that. But thank you so much for what you've done. You Mr. Will be and thank you for your time to keep the Cougars. We'll miss you. Do you like it's Thank you, Buster and Chesa, especially for the finals and everything that you've done. Chesa, everybody really appreciates what you've done. It's been um, a really important time that you've been there for everybody and well done for everything that you've achieved. Sorry to see you go. You're very highly thought of and we will miss you. I hope you still turn up. Buster Feather, well, what can we say? This year, I've been so impressed by your absolute commitment and everything that you brought to the game. He has. It's such a shame that you are going on such a high, but of course, sometimes it's better going on a high than not going on a high. Exactly. So we appreciate your reasons for going, but you will be incredibly missed. You were missed today, and you'll be missed going forward in the year to come. You have done so well, both of you. Thank you so much to you. Well, Chess, come to the end of the road, eh? You've been an absolute credit to the game and you were a credit to everybody when you worked here at Bradford Bulls. I'm glad that when you left Bulls you went on and had a long and successful career, but really it does make me feel so old 
knowing that I saw your first ever game for the Bulls at under 16's level and you're now retiring. But then again, I am old. So all the best for the future, Chase. Take care, you've been a creature of the game. Hey there, Buster. Just wanted to wish you all the best in your uh, retirement from playing. It was a pleasure to have uh, nurtured you through from uh, being a junior player into uh, a regular first team player at Keyfley and ultimately uh, the club captain. Um, an outstanding professional, such a... Uh, an enigmatic trainer who uh, who absolutely uh, you know fought for the cause of Keith Cougars and uh, had so much pride and passion about uh, your game. It was uh, a pleasure to be involved with you, mate. Uh, wish you well in your retirement and whatever uh, the next chapter of your career holds. All the best. Neil, Rob here. Uh, I'd just like to wish you all the best in your retirement. Uh, it's been a privilege uh, knowing your pal as a professional and good player. I remember back in the dark days of Bloodly Hill, uh, when you were playing under 10s, ruining under 10s. When you'd expect so, you'll be a 15 year old at the time. But uh, no, I wish you all the best in your retirement. Uh, you've been a, a great lot to work with, both as a professional and also pulling a pair of boots on for me uh, with Georgie Boy down at Birkenshaw. Uh, but don't forget, you're not really retiring because you're another five years of amateur rugby to play. So all the best. Hopefully, I can catch up with you and have a pint. Uh, but if not, if I'm away in France, uh, have a great time and we'll have a beer later in the uh, little club old boy. See you later, Bob. Uh, this is a tribute to James Feather by Glen Barraclough. Sorry for that ridiculous pause, but for, for eight years when I was coaching Buster, that's the sort of ridiculous pause we had, waiting for the idiot to come in and uh, for the team debrief, and then he'd come in, sorry chaps, sorry chaps, the most disingenuous apology I've ever known in all my life. He never meant it, but he always said it. Polite lad, you see. Uh, what can you say about James Feather? Well, I think... Uh, Keith the Cougars have been very lucky to have James Feather as a, a player and as a captain. He's uh, totally committed to the club, to the club, loves the club uh, with his heart. Uh, he's been fantastic for the club as a player and as a captain. Um, he also was quite central to the success from starting back when I started to the amateur game. Uh, basically had that amateur team for a couple of seasons and then we got ourselves better and better and basically uh, Buster was central to all that went on. Gave his time so freely on a regular basis. Uh, just like to wish you all the best uh, Buster in your future. I'm sure with your dedication, whatever you choose, uh, whether it be coaching in rugby or just building your business up and uh, I'm sure you'll have a a successful life from here on in. All the best, mate. Now then, Neil Leslie Cherryo. Hope you're well, pal. Been asked to make a short video just to wish you all the best in your retirement and whatever you do next. Uh, wish you all the best in the world, mate. Um, thought you retired a couple of seasons ago, to be honest. I think you maybe took it a little bit too far. But, you know, you still give it 100% in every game you played and uh, your credit to the sport, mate. All the best in the future. See you soon. Bye. Don't forget me five of you owe me. Fat twat. Hey Buster. Uh, just a quick video from me uh, to thank you for your career and the time we've spent together uh, and the privilege it's been to, to coach you mate. Um, I remember back in the mid 2000s as, as a kid seeing you and your enthusiasm and uh, I remember seeing you once in the petrol station you probably won't remember getting some fuel and you were like hey Paul how are you? Uh, any chance of you coming back to the Cougars, um, which obviously I did back in 2009 and had a fantastic uh, time with you, getting you into good shape and hopefully getting to the best condition you'd ever been in and then sustaining that for a few years, didn't we? Um, and getting up to championship level uh, a couple of times, getting knocked back down, but you proved that you could play at that level um, quite easily, mate, and could have gone on higher, I think, if you'd gone to other clubs. In terms of the players I've worked with, 
work with some high caliber people and I tell you what mate you're right up there with any of them you've got as much dedication as much passion as much determination to do well as anybody I've ever coached uh, an absolute professional all the time always willing to give 110% there's not many like you around mate uh, so once again just an absolute privilege to have worked with you I've thoroughly enjoyed the time I've spent with you uh, as a coaching as a player I'm sure going forward I hope to work with you uh, in some capacities as, as a coach as well as you come on as a coach uh, as I'm sure that's a part of your career you'll want to move into and I think you've got every attribute anybody would ever need to make a top coach mate so uh, best wishes